Hi, what's up? We're here with and uh, we're going to be asked a few questions about girls basketball. So, uh, The girls basketball team has come off two big wins against Grays Creek and one big win against Lumberton. Um, how do you feel about the game? Um, I thought we executed very well. Our team chemistry, like, it's been getting very strong. So we just look like we have a fun on the court. And when we all work together, it's very easy to, you know, uh, shut these other teams down because you can tell they don't have that chemistry that we do. And you know, they come off of a one point loss, very tough loss against 71st. What do you feel you need to improve most on to you know, help you see win? I feel like pushing, like pushing harder when it's like the very last couple of seconds. Um, silly fouls and silly turnovers are really what cost us the game. At one point in the fourth quarter, we were up nine points and we shouldn't have even let them come close to, um, you know, getting that win. But really just like giving it our all. The whole game I told them not to let it slip away from us and it just came down to who we were on. Yeah, man, you know, coming off such a great season, how do you feel you guys are doing the playoffs? Um, I feel that we'll be great. I feel that last night's loss was needed. I feel like we should go into playoffs with that loss because now you have a chip on your shoulder. You have something to lose, and you know that once you lose that, your season is done. So you really just have to give it your all. Man. What is this year meant for you playing for the Colts? And how have y'all improved throughout your career? This year has been really good for me. Personally, um, my first two years of my year as a freshman and a sophomore were too great for me. I really had to adjust and I really couldn't show my talent because of the school that I was at. So transitioning to Cape Fear really was an outlet for me. And these girls helped me become better. And I just feel like overall this season is going to work for me. So how does it feel you guys being the first women's girls basketball team to make the state playoffs since the 1980s? It feels really, really good. Like it's all in the paper and everything, and everybody knows. Everybody's so shocked. They're like Kate Fear, not Kate Fear, but like it's like it's so relieving. And then it just it just feels good. It's like you can't really explain the feeling. It's just a, it's it's a good feeling. Thank you, Shamir. So we're here with Mason Autry, a uh, swimmer, sophomore. This is being your first time at State. How was the atmosphere? Um, the atmosphere wasn't that different from me. It was just a felt like there was a little more higher stakes. Really? Mm -hmm. So, uh, what what events you swim at? Um, at states I was a relay alternate, but usually for regular meets I usually swim like 200 IM and the grass stand on the How have you improved throughout the season, and how has the team improved from from the first practice all the way until the state championship? Um, I've seen a lot of our freshmen get better coming in, not knowing a couple of them have never shown before at the end of the season. And I've seen them improve and be able to do things that they never thought they would do. All right, we got one final question for you for today. Do you pee in the pool? No. Sometimes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the others? What about the others? Um, I can't say for the others. I think some of the freshmen were. <laughs> we're good. So, of course, I'm Luke McCork it out. This is Gary Hales. Jeremiah Bogan. And Justin Burton. We're back with the weekly sports podcast at Cape Fear. Um, we're just going to give you all a little recap of how it went uh, this past week for the men's basketball games. Uh, Grace Creek, they beat them back to back, won in the last conference match of the season, and one was in the first round of conference tournament. 61 48 home win. How did you guys feel about that win on um, Friday night? I got this year. How'd you feel, Jeremiah? Uh, it felt pretty good, you know, to get a win on senior night. Yeah. Usually, it's a lot of distractions on that type of night. Able to battle it out. I mean, obviously, not a not a clean win. It was pretty sloppy, especially the team we know should be by a lot. Of it. It's always good to get one. You know? Yes, sir. Justin, being that last your last game at Cape Fear, how did you feel, and how did you feel like the performance was? I mean, it felt good. The atmosphere was crazy. Um, the society that we came out to win. Oh, yes. And um, y'all came um, off of a loss against Lumberton. What do you need that you feel you need to improve on to get stronger and win this game? Uh, just like team, bonding, uh, just, just getting better, like doing the small things like coaches been stressing all season, just playing hard, playing with hustling. You know what I mean? We know we have the talent, but it's only going to get you so far. So. We know Sorry. come playoffs, we've got to play harder. Every game is important. We want to go home. 
Justin, this being your senior year, how does uh, how does what's your mindset going into the state playoffs? Really, just playing hard, doing my part. You know, trying to be more vocal. Love uh, being a senior. Just are you like the leader of the team? Yeah, like we all have our roles as a part. You know, holding everybody accountable to doing the right thing and stuff like that. How can you motivate the younger class? You know, um, you being there before. Really, just by setting an example, showing them like what's the right way to do things. How to do it. Right. Um, what is y'all's expectations in playoffs? Like, how far do y'all think y'all can go? What's what's the floor and what's the ceiling? Um, I mean, you know, you always reach your maximum efforts and what you think you'll be able to accomplish. We really truly believe we'll be able to go as far as we take ourselves. You know, like we we're in control of our own destiny. If we you know, go out there and play hard every game. You know, state championship is in view, but if we go out there like today, we come out slow in the first quarter, there's just going to be teams that you, know, you can't come back from like that. And that's going to be the difference in you know, running the make. So what will prevent you guys from coming out slow in the first quarter? Uh, just taking practice more serious, you know, listening to what Coach tells us. Because just that one second of just not paying attention, not locking in, not mentally preparing for the game, I can determine the outcome of the game. So that's what we're trying to do better.